It has been used by Aboriginal Australians for thousands of years. Oh, that smells gorgeous though. Kind of citrusy. What do we have in the ingredients? Evening, I am unboxing a look fantastic box. The um, upside is a little um, already opened, and the underside is already a little ripped. It's not, not the most beautiful cardboard to start with, but the sound should be pretty good. slowly catching up. I'm going to try and catch up fully with a look fantastic filming this evening um, and maybe also my little box. I'll see how much time I have and how noisy it is outside. Okay, so if you just want to see what's inside the box and everything, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps will be down below. Otherwise, enjoy the sleepy sounds.
now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed, let's have a little look at this box. So first things first, I love this color. Love it. I want my nails this color. <laughs> okay, so look after yourself from within and your beauty will shine through. Hashtag LF Beauty Box. And then we have this gorgeous little magazine. Beautiful picture. The perfect face shape there. Very pretty. Very fresh. There's power in the formula. Six incredible new products to discover. I feel like it's going to be like skincare based because like face is very like glowy, clean, you know. So this is the Edit 04. So it's only April's. I need ketchup. Okay, let me remove this great glowy tissue paper. Okay, so I can see a few things, a few brands I've seen before, like Ren Skincare, Avon Skincare. Philip Kingsley, so hair stuff, Morton Brown, shower stuff, and that looks almost like essential oils or something, the way that like the little bottle is. And there's something under there I can't really see yet. Okay, so let's just pop this box to the side and have a look at everything one by one. Okay, let's have a little look at the magazine. Maybe actually read a bit since it's in English. There's power in the formula, words echoed by the products in April's beauty box. This month is all about the ingredients from vitamin C to aloe vera and hyaluronic acid. These magical molecules combine in all sorts of ways to create the powerful and transformative products we know and love. Um, not this one. This one is in the box. This month we've tracked down some of the most in-demand ingredients of 2022 and combined them to form this month's beauty box. But that's not all. Within these pages, you'll find all the insights and little facts about these powerful formulas so that you are more informed that you are uh, more informed connoisseur of beauty for example did you know that your skin cells produce hyaluronic acid naturally no i did not know but external aggressors and prolonged sun exposure can impact the skin's ability to produce it so having a serum close by helps. This month's magazine is full of little facts like that to help you understand exactly what goes into the products used daily and how they benefit our regimes. Okay, so yeah, I can see all the products. Tea tree oil. I knew it was like an oil or something. Okay, so the LMS, um, I don't know if it's the same one, is in some people's boxes. Okay, what's in your box? Editors top picks. So I'm guessing that's the ones that everyone has. And then all the other ones are just like like there's no info on them exactly. Fresh faced April. I really like these pictures. They look like real smiles. Kapusha butter. No, kupuasu. 
Yukuyasu butter. That's how you pronounce it. Never heard of it. Some plant power. Yeah, calendula, lavender, roses, hope, tea tree, aloe vera, witch hazel, rosemary, lemon, balm. the ingredients packaging it's quite interesting be interested in reading how that's in okay Concentrate pure oil, tea tree oil, Australian body care, glass bottle, have a fan. So, um, I already have tea tree oil open, so I'm not going to open this just because I don't know if it really like can it go off? <laughs> I don't know, like, I feel like if I open it, it would just be a waste. I'm probably going to use it at some point, but I don't want it to be open for a while first. Let me just keep it nice in there. Okay, so 10 mils of tea tree oil. Although the benefits of tea tree oil have only been officially recognized since 1923, it has been used by Aboriginal Australians for thousands of years. To improve the appearance of skin. Use the oil to soothe and cleanse your hair and skin. So, how to use one part tea tree oil to ten parts distilled water or vegetable oil for breath freshener, minor burns, or for toothache. Apply with a clean cotton. I didn't know it could be as hard to think. Diluted or a drop on a cotton swab. An interesting texture to it. The label. It's very smooth, but it's like there's something to it. <laughs> okay, so I'll always appreciate it. Some nice, wholesome. Number two is, I'm pretty sure something I already have, or I have a few Philip Kingsley hair products in this kind of format, so it's possible that I do already have it, but I feel like this stuff I have is, is like a mask, a hair mask. Okay, so this is Elasticizer Booster, 20 mils. I don't know who Philip Kingsley is, but I've seen So this unique product delivers a rush of moisture inside the hair cuticle and is especially beneficial doesn't smell of much especially beneficial for extremely damaged hair the super moisturizing intensive treatment adds silkiness, suppleness, elasticity, bounce and strength How to use before shampooing? It's conditioner that you use before. Hmm. Hold on. Before shampooing, thoroughly wet hair and apply in sections. Work into hair with fingertips, cover with a shower cap, and leave for at least 20 minutes, preferably over 60 minutes, and rinse well. So, yeah, I would say it's more a hair mask than a conditioner. Because a conditioner is li like it's for after shampoo, so I don't get it. 
is there really a difference between the two? Okay, so the next product is an Avon product and it's a little dusty. From those little paper worms. So I do like Avon products, but I have never bought any because they are extortionate. I don't know if it's one of those things like expensive because the ingredients are expensive or if it's just like a brand thing but yeah I get enough um, products from them in these boxes to not have to buy any well I never have to buy any but you know like if I wanted to but um, I'm using their night serum at the moment and I really like it but yeah so I'm happy to see <laughs> okay so hyaluronic Cocoa, shea butter, argan, and then another word, tocopherol, tocopherol, I don't know, oh it's lip balm, with hyaluronic acid, skin care to share, Hyalu replenish lip balm, 10 mils, for satin smooth, hydrated lips, this smoothing, nope, soothing balm aims to leave lips irresistibly soft. Um, I'm using like an evening lip mask, I guess. It's kind of like, feels like just like um, Vaseline or something. Um, but at night, because I, during the day I really don't like having anything on my lips. Um, and it's okay. I mean, I don't notice a huge difference, but I think over time I am. So, it combines the perfect formula of hyaluronic acid and shea butter. Let me just pop some on my hand. It's a lot thinner than the, the one that I have. Okay, I see. It feels quite oily, you know? It's not uncomfortable. It just feels kind of oily. Hyaluronic acid aims to penetrate deeply into the lips to hydrate and instantly help improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles around the mouth. Oh, I would be scared to use something so oily like around my lips. Like, I would be worried to get, like, breakouts around my lips. Maybe just a night. Age Restore. Doesn't have a scent. Does it? Maybe, like, a tiny bit. Like, you can smell the shea butter, maybe. It's very light, anyway. Okay, so we have one more. Number four. Backwards for it's also quite dusty. So, Verso Hydration Serum with niacinamide. No, nope. niacinamide. I've seen that before, but I have no idea what it is. Face Serum 10 mils. Also, these all feel very like tester sized items. I'm pretty sure all four of these are. Oh, maybe not this one, since it's a lip. Oh, well, yeah, and then the tea tree oil, I guess, is going to be that size anyway. Maybe just this one is a, a smaller size than this one. So what is it? Reveal a glowing complexion with the hydration serum from Verso. The anti-aging moisturizer helps to strengthen the skin barrier forming a protective layer against environmental damage. Oh, it's a serum. I was thinking cream, <laughs> so I got quite a lot, unfortunately. I'm just going to serum up the entire back of my hand. <laughs> um, against environmental damage and providing hydration for the skin. Okay, so it goes a long way. 
Mm, it smells kind of clean. It's really like a, a soft scent and then it disappears, so that's nice. It feels pretty nice. It dries down nicely. It's not sticky at all. Okay, I think I'll probably use that. I have one or two things from them, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's a, a serum. I like that. Okay, so the last two products, I guess we'll just have to read what they are on the packaging. Oh, a body serum. I've never heard that before. So we have Ren Clean Skin Care. Aha Smart Renewal Body Serum Radiance so that's that. A Moisturizing Body Serum with AHAs Oh, okay, that was it, like, aha <laughs> Like, wow, an idea um, AHAs that work with the skin to naturally exfoliate Leaving skin radiant with a natural glow. Gently massage all of our body onto clean skin until absorbed. Or our AHAs. Does anybody know what AHAs are? Such a strange opening. but they've called it a serum it does feel serum -y. it's just like a watery oh that smells gorgeous though again it's citrusy what do we have in the ingredients? shea butter okay citrus peel oil orange flower oil Oil. Yeah, mandarin. A lot of citrus stuff in there. That smells absolutely gorgeous. And it does dry down almost like pretty much the same as that serum I just used there. Mm, maybe it's a little stickier after, but not much. I think I'm going to like using that. It smells gorgeous. So our last item is very dusty <laughs> from those paper worms. So I've had one of these um, before but I did not use it because the scent was not at all um, something that I like. I think it was like something lavender-esque or like floral. Um, so Molten Brown London Heavenly Ginger Lily Bath and Shower Gel made in England. This is the one that has the little dots on it. Like braille dots, but just like one. Okay, let me smell this. Fancy lid there. I'm not getting like an overly ginger smell, so maybe Ginger Lily is not like linked ginger, it's just like a flower or something. Yeah. London via Tahiti. Black sands slipping into a Polynesian lagoon. Delicate ginger lilies peek through the foliage. Okay, so yeah, it's a flower. Fragrant spices perfuming the breeze entice your wanderlust. With an escape Shores, exotic, alluring, escapist. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> okay, so that might be nice. All depends on the scent and the lather. Shower gel is kind of like scent and lather for me. Well, I guess it is for everyone, but it's important. If there's not a lather, I don't feel clean, and if the scent is not there, I just don't enjoy using. As long as it's not like smelling like soap, soap, or like overly floral, it's fine. 
gonna leave this video here for this evening. I'm pretty excited about a few of these things. I'm gonna use this, not straight away, but it will be used. This, I mean, I guess I'll try the, the whole, like, before the shower thing with the shower cap. I don't have a shower cap, but I have those, like, wraps, you know, the hair wraps, like uh, the towel ones. I think that would be fine. This will probably definitely get used. Yeah. Um, I'm not huge on lip balm, but I feel like these higher end ones have better ingredients and they're not just like, you know, like the lip balms that are just like Maybelline or, you know, they're like, they just take the moisture away, I feel like. So I'll try this one out. This smells absolutely gorgeous and feels gorgeous. So it will be used for sure. This will get used by either me or my partner. Um, and this I think I'm going to try too. Just to pop it in with the other serums. And it'll get used. Okay. So I think that I'm most excited about this one. <laughs> this is like absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I would say this one is my favourite thing out of all of these lovely little products. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it relaxing, maybe a little interesting, but especially you're well, wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you. I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm. For example, if you are in Fort Collins, Colorado, in the US, like Zach Wagner. Hey Zach, I hope you're well. And I hope that you all have a lovely